just a quick example of how to find confidence intervals for means on your calculator. Um, very, very quick example here. So let me pull up my calculator and I've got some data. If I hit stat, edit right here in list number one, I've got some data listed. It doesn't even matter what that data is right now. I just want to show you how to turn this data into a confidence interval. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go to my home screen again. I'm going to hit stat, go over to tests, and I only had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of data. So since I have a small sample, again I go over to stat, tests, since I have a small sample, I'm going to create a T interval. If I had a large sample, I would use a Z interval, but this is a small sample, so I use T interval right here. I hit enter, and I've got my data in my list. I don't have the basic statistics. If I had the basic statistics, I could go ahead and punch these numbers in right here and choose my confidence level and hit calculate, but I've got my data in a list, so I'm going to use the data itself. Um, my data was in list number one, so I'm going to go second number one to change this to list number one. It was list number three before. Just leave frequency as one. That's just a common thing. And then I want to create a 95% confidence interval. So let's go 0.95 and hit calculate. And when I hit calculate, there it is. I, let me pull this into my document, maybe. Anyways, there's my confidence interval, 7.4 to 22.5 or 22.6 if I round off. I don't know what this data is. I just now know what the confidence interval is for this particular data. Again, just an example of how to find a confidence interval for a small sample using T distributions using my calculator. I hope this helps and have fun in your stats class.